start the morning early. It was an overcasted morning off the island at Mazeppa and not very productive to start off with. I welcomed the first bite, which was a nice little duck ball. Good fun on the spinning gear. The braid makes everything so direct that even the smallest fish is a good fight. It's swimming nicely, it's going yeah. in the right direction. No wonder it's going that way. And any fish is welcome on the new setup. Early morning here on the island again, with the guys from Zululand in ready and them. We're all here. And uh, was lucky on the first pass to get a little duck ball. And here at Mazepa, that is a brilliant bait, so I did put it on as a swim bait. And it's swimming nicely, it's about oh, 150 meters already. And we're hoping for a, for a really nice uh, Johnny, Mr. Bruce, to pick it up and uh, see what this rod, this is the new 14 foot 6, the Grande Elite Saltist. And I'm trying that out today, so this rod hasn't caught a fish, the 15 foot has. And the reel has done its work already, but we want we want something bigger. We really want to put it to the test and see what this can do. Um, I have no doubt that's why I'm confident to just swim a, a fish because normally your chances of getting something proper is very good if you've got a nice swim bait like that, a live bait. So yeah, that's just a matter of uh, swimming the right path and crossing paths with the right fish. Still going nicely. This is the perfect live bait off the island. You can't ask for anything better. Good morning viewers, uh, uh, Sunday morning at Mazepa. Andre got that nice uh, flat fish there that he's swimming out. I threw a whole mullet and uh, yeah, I really want to get a fish on the small just uh, run around the 15 foot. So Andre is using a 14 6, he was kind enough to let me use the 15 foot. So. I oh, want to clean up nicely so maybe we get some runs in place. Right. Hold on tight. We hook these fish up in a way that if they don't get picked up, we can just pull a bit harder and the hook will come out without leaving damage on the fish. was first to get stuck into something bigger and <laughs> ended up being a reggae on his multiplier. He wasn't hesitant to swim out quite far in a very short period of time. I haven't set the hooks yet. It's so easy. I allowed it to go up to 300 meters before it provoked a bigger fish. Tore it off. Maybe a bit off. Yeah. Tore it off. That's not how we want it. on a reef obviously because the leader is gone and the trace everything so that's just bad luck but typical with swim boats in any case so you have to try again
rewarded with a really good size reggae. They were in abundance around the island for the last couple of days. So uh, there we go, nice range of 200 and 211 centimeters. I got it on a fresh cob head uh, on a slide using that 40 no demon circle uh, mustard. Got the Saltiga 50 HA, Saltiga. What a brilliant reel. And then I got the uh, Saltist multiplier rod, the 14 foot two. This is the uh, Six to nine knots. So uh, that's the outfit. Good fresh bait, produce the results. It's a bit quiet today on the island. Uh, you saw Andre got picked up eventually on that swim bait. Uh, when he parted off or something happened while I was on the ragging. And other than that, there hasn't been many pulls. Eh? So, yeah, there's quite a, quite a good few folks on the island today. Conditions look excellent. Still trying to look for that elusive grey or the uh, bronzy. So we'll keep on jabbing at it. Later that day, the reggae started shoaling around the island as every angler got a chance. The drone, kite and sliding anglers each had their fun. the extra mile to make sure the fish swims off safely. Really takes chances sometimes to get the job done. There is really no better guide in the Mazeppa area than Andrew Swellendawo. Make sure to look him up if you want the best guide in the area. Even on a bad day off the island at Mazeppa, there'll be always some action popping up somewhere. to see so many anglers coming here to have their experience of catching bigger sharks and no one ever leaves disappointed. Mm -hmm.